Hey guys, so I have another uh, tip here on just creating box shadows. I'm actually just going to copy this and I'm going to add a linear, uh, I mean a uh, fill. Um, and so what I wanted to show you guys is uh, so, like some trends I'm seeing in uh, the industry right now. So we obviously have the classic box shadow. So let me, the box shadow is a touchy subject. I'm just going to tell you what I really like doing, okay, and what I think is best. So for one, a lot of people use the x-axis, x-axis, I don't really use it. Um, and my general rule is whatever the y value is, you're going to double that for the blur. So if the y is 10, the blur is going to be 20. If the, if the y is 15, the blur is going to be 30, okay? So you usually get a nice little box shadow here, but if you're using all black, like 000, zero, zero you have to be 10% or below. That's just my opinion, because anything, you know, I mean, 15% maybe you could you could deal with it, but like when you're in the 20%, see how it just looks too dominant. It's it's just hurting the eyes, right? And when it's black, yeah, I, I just don't suggest it. So if I, if I was gonna do something, I would do, um, I would do something like this for the box shadow, um, right? And then the second trend I've been seeing, and this is definitely my favorite, is colored uh, box shadows. So I've been using a lot of this in my designs. Um, and you're allowed to really enhance the box shadow with this. So I'm gonna go ahead and like do like a purple here. So something like this. And effects we're gonna add this right and we're gonna start with a hundred percent okay so this looks a little crazy right but if we do something like sorry you go back here this looks a little crazy but what would look cooler is if we made the uh, drop shadow a little darker and oh no just kidding make the this drop a little darker Okay, and then we're gonna start reducing, right? And just like that, we have a nice little drop shadow. You can, you can even increase this blur, right? So now that looks even better. So we now have two drop shadows, right? Um, and another, another thing I, I love doing, honestly, um, is embedding, adding strokes. So, Strokes is another cool thing I, I tend to I tend to work with as well with box shadows. So we have this uh, box shadow here, right? Um, and what I like doing is um, let me extend this. We'll delete this for now. Um, what I like doing here is adding a stroke and see how it's you know it has the black frame um, and it's kind of intense. You can't really see the box shadow, but a look that I really like is uh, reducing the stroke. Right, um, and you can even. I wonder if you can. I do this sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't look that good. So, yeah. So it doesn't. Yeah, that doesn't work. So I like adding like a little opacity to the black, honestly. Um, and I like playing around with it because you can get a really nice. I mean, you can still get still dark. You can get a nice little like outline stroke see and it can help you know and then you can kind of like reduce this even more if need be right that looks kind of good right um and then you can even do the same thing for colors i mean i go ahead and add a stroke and um i obviously would suggest bringing it darker and i would then make this like a, a 40 you get you get this nice little you know dark border around it, kind of emphasizing the car, but still giving you a box shadow. So, hope you guys really like this. I'm seeing all, I, the reason why I want to share something like this because I see a lot of designers doing something like this, you know. And this is you know I, I appreciate you trying to do a box shadow, but this is just too intense, especially at the bottom here, and it, it's just the card. It looks floating, but it just it's too heavy. It needs to be, the box shadow needs to be a lot lighter. 
And that's why I suggest, you know, the 10%. See, it just is easier on the, it's more iOS vibes, right? Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. And uh, let me know if you want me to keep doing things like this.